there was a hummingbird right out my window. It was so cool. Anyway, hi, how are you? Hope you've been well. It's me, Jeanette. Today's video is itchy. Today's video is itchy. So today's video, I'm going to be sharing my faux dory setup. It's not very impressive. In fact, it's pretty empty, but one of my online besties, uh, Stephanie from Sherbert Inc. I will have her YouTube channel linked below. Stephanie showed her uh, faux dory and I really loved it. And then I kind of want to share mine. It's in the making. Of course, the day that I want to film up my faux dory setup, the gardeners are right outside my window. So <laughs> pardon the lawnmower noise, but Anyway, this is my faux dory. It's actually a so dory. Um, Colleen of Two Dirty Chickens uh, makes these. I'll have the link to her shop below. This fabric was on the outside uh, when I got it, but I really love the fabric on the inside, and so I just re-looped it, and now the Eiffel Towers are on the outside. The Eiffel Tower print is on the outside, and I love it, and I love that I can switch it up because you know that I love polka dots. So it's fun to have those two options. So check out our shop, it's super cute. And tell her that I sent you. So I'm a little bit new to the world of Midori's and faux dories. This is the very first one I've ever had. I actually had the insert before I had the faux door. I have two inserts. Here's one insert which I bought online and it's a graph paper print, which I love graph paper. I'm obsessed. And then this insert I purchased at Target. I can't remember what the line was. Uh, let's see if it says here. I can't remember. Oh my gosh. You probably know what it is by looking at it, but I got this at Target. It was like $8 or so. And this is just a plain lined insert and it has like chapter breaks which I thought was interesting chapter five yay I'm only on page one but anyway let's go back now that you saw the inserts I took some pocket letter inserts or <laughs> baseball trading card inserts I call them pocket letter inserts and I cut some out so that I could just pop these in here and as you can see if I pull it out it's just like a pocket letter insert, but I cut off the top part. So here's a quote card, and I just taped it on the outside of the pocket. As you can see, the little opening is on this side, but that's okay. I just love to tape things on the outside of pockets. And if you get a pocket letter from me, it has like taped stuff on the outside. And then behind this little card here, I added um, this card, which is a washi sample card that I received from... Uh, one of my pocket letter pals already all wrapped up so I just tucked it in here because this is a baseball trading card insert so it already fits in there so then I have that to use if I'd like so in this pocket I have some more of those stamped cards the stamp is from Michaels and this one I cannot remember where I bought it probably Tuesday morning it's a snail mail it's so cute and then in these pockets I just used uh, the paper pad. You know, every paper pad on the outside has a sample, the cover. So I just cut it out because I wasn't gonna throw away that cuteness. So I salvaged it and I tucked it in here and it's just in there kind of like a decoration filler, I guess you can say. And then up here I have a little camera sticker on a clear label and then a die cut. And on the back here I have some sticker labels that I designed. I had a few on sale, but they sold out. But um, yeah, they're just like little planner, planner stickers. And so I have those in there in case I want to use them in my faux dory. Sorry, this cute little card here that says hopes and dreams and I just taped it on here with some washi tape. This is a paint chip with a quote. The way I set this first insert up, I only have two pages full, but um, yeah, it's more like faith-based. So I have a Bible verse here and I kind of want to have this all decorated. Like I would like to decorate it all and then go back 
and fill in, you know, with different, um, kind of like a Bible study slash devotional slash morning thoughts slash, <laughs> you know, thoughts about my faith, that kind of thing. Here I have more quotes and Bible verses. And here I was setting up to do the next layout, but I forgot, so I just left it. Yeah, I think this is going to be more of my, like, a faith journal. And here's a glittery ribbon that I'm using as a bookmark. I love glittery things, honestly. Oh my gosh. Give me some sparkle. And then the rest is, like... Here's another insert I have, and it's all ready to go to be filled up with things. Not sure what yet, but I will fill it up. And then, this is the other insert. This is the Target insert. And this insert, I'm going to devote to kind of like experimenting and to design teamwork. This is a layout that I made using Christy Tomlinson's Planner Society kit. And so most of the things here that you see are from the kit. Um, that's the only page I've done, but I do plan to do more. And then I have it all looped together. I added this glittery elastic, which again, I love glittery and sparkle. It's just an elastic and I tied it <laughs> on the side. It's so cute though. I got this at Joann's. I think you saw it in my last haul video from Joann's. So yeah, decorative elastic. I know it looks kind of makeshift and maybe a little bit ghetto, but that's okay. I love it. <clears throat> and then the back here is the back of this front insert, the other side of it, sampling on it. So the back here is just some more samples from those paper packs. The front part, you know, don't throw that cover away because you can cut it out and use it. And then I have another quote here and some more of these um, little business cards that I stamped with some planner stamps and I'll have the link below for this set of planner stamps because they're so cute there it's an acrylic set and it's like a planner theme and they're adorable so I have a link for that and I just stamped it and then if there's ever like something that I need to remember I can just you know paper clip it on here yeah it's been so fun just trying to fill it up and trying new things where'd my little clippy go It's like a whole new world. I honestly, I feel like such a newbie. I know that maybe it may not appear so. Maybe you think I've been doing this for a long time because of pocket letters, but honestly, I am kind of a newbie and Midori's and planners and that's all like a new world to me. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching and hopefully next time I'll have a little bit more to show you. So yeah, there it is. That's what it looks like when you peek into it. It's so fun to just like peek into it. Like, oh my gosh, what's in there? <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.